everyone. I hope you're having a blessed week. Today I'm coming to you with my K-12 review. We are on the week, uh, we are on week three actually. <laughs> yeah, week three. Um, this is for the kindergarten program. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just discuss what we worked on this week. Um, this week we're pretty much doing the same things that we did last week. Um, still doing um, his shapes, knowing his shapes, um, knowing the colors. Um, he learned about sorting, like knowing how to sort by shape, by color, and by size. Um, let's see what else he's learning in math. Um, it's been pretty much the same each week, uh, but you know, working with his shapes and everything. Um, I'm trying to think what else. For science, he is learning um, the five senses, which he was doing last week of you know, your taste, your smell, um, hearing, uh, touch, and smelling. I think that's all five of them. Um, going over and understanding the different, you know, how they work, which part of your body you use to smell, to hear, and to touch, and stuff like that. Um, he's still learning his body parts, um, like, his, you know, which part is, which uh, body part, they'll ask him which body part um, is a part of your arm, and then he'll just say, like, a wrist or an elbow, and they'll give him examples, and it'll be like a multiple choice questions of asking him. Um, let's see what else we're going over. We went over and did like a little taste test where he can, I like blindfolded him and he tasted certain things that were sour, certain things that were sweet, certain things that were salty. So we went over that with his taste buds and learning about his different taste buds. Um, let's see what else. For history, he's learning about Australia, one of the continents, um, learning about Outback in Sydney, Australia and different where the, um, certain people live, where the animals live. He learned about the different type of animals you would see in Australia, like a kangaroo, an emu, um, what was else? A platypus, different animals that you would see in the outback, normal, you know. Um, let's see what else. What else did he learn about? He's still doing his learning his sounds of different letters, knowing if it's a beginning sound, or for instance, L. He had to find different pictures. There's like a picture and he had to pick uh, certain things and they'll say like, find the seven things that begin with the letter A or it has a letter A sound, beginning of the letter A sound. So he'll have to find it and they'll check to make sure he gets it right. And then they'll say, for instance, it's like the beginning sound and the end sound. Like he'll have something that starts from A and then something that starts that ends with A. So hopefully I explained that correctly. But beginning sounds and the end sounds. Um, let's see, what else is he um, going over this week? Um, we went over um, the um, gingerbread man. We read the gingerbread man story. We went over that and asked some questions about what happened in the story and, you know, different things that happened in the story. Um, what else did we go over? Um, I think that is about it. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Um, he did get his individualized learning plan in K-12 each kid has a like a learning plan individualized learning plan and it tells them what they have to know at a certain point at um, where we are he has to learn um, certain things by November 1st which will be the end of the first quarter so they sent us his um, goals for the, the first quarter and his goals is for the end of the quarter one is he needs to be able to identify and compare numbers one through ten with an eighty percent accuracy as um, measured on a teacher's graded assessment um, also he has to be able to identify twenty six uppercase and lowercase numbers or letters <laughs> and their sounds with eighty percent accuracy as measured by the teacher's graded um, assessment so uh, we have to just make sure that he's he knows pretty much you know all that stuff um, just have to make sure that he knows that by November um, I remember that it was like the same thing and because he did transitional kindergarten which was the first year they started it for K-12 so he was like one of the first kids to actually start that program and a lot of those things I'm so glad that he took that because if you're thinking about K-12 and your kid is not um, in kindergarten yet and they're gonna be doing kindergarten next year well it's kinda I don't know if it's too late to start now but if your kid is younger, if, if you want to do K-12, I recommend you have them do the transitional kindergarten program because it will help them so much in the kindergarten program, even though they're going over a lot of the same things, but it will help them a lot. So I recommend that, you know, if that's something that you would like to do. Because um, my son, he was, his birthday is in September after the school starts. So he's six now, he just turned six September 11th. 
and so he's in kindergarten he's six years old so he's a little late as far as because of his age so instead of him doing kindergarten when he was five he did transitional kindergarten so it transition you know getting them ready for it so that's if your kid is kind of you know birthday is late within the year so yeah <laughs> but I'm getting off subject but um, also before school started he had to take this assessment for the teacher to be able to see where he was at and to kind of see where he needs help where his strengths are where his weaknesses are and we got his results back and he is where he's supposed to be he's at the kindergarten level which I'm happy about I'm glad that he's not below It'd be nice if he was higher, but, you know, I'm glad. As long as he stays where he's supposed to be and he's, you know, going where he's supposed to be, that's all that matters. And um, that is it, you guys. That is everything this week. If you have any questions, um, you can leave them down below. Comment down below. And I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.